Feed Purse is out. AT&T is out. Oh, let me tell you who's in. Anybody want to be 15 before I go? Sold 14,500 and it's a little group. It's Monsanto. It's Elite Swine Programs. And it's Chaz Wheeler, Wheeler Auctions out of Paris, Missouri. That's all right. That's who it is. You betcha. Let's welcome our buyers. Tough to come to Monsanto. I represent Wheeler Auction Company, and I'm not going to step down there, but I'll, I'll just let you handle that, Rodney. And we will ask Amy if she would like to say a few words. Um, well, I like to thank, thank you for, for everything, for bidding on my pay. And I told people I wasn't going to cry today, but, you know, that doesn't really happen as planned. And I really want to thank my mom and dad because they have always been there for me. And I really want to thank my brother Paul because he's always been there encouraging me to do what I can and he knows I can see. And, and I'm so glad he could come back from college football for this day to spend it with me to make it even more special moment for me. Put your hands together for her. Yeah. She's the one we're proud of. Congratulations, Amy, on behalf of Monsanto again. Wish you much success in the future and congratulations to your whole family. On behalf of the Elite Swine Program, I'd like to congratulate Congratulate uh, McAlexander's family and Amy on the reserve champion overall, Durock Barrett. Congratulations. Thank Bruce Butler for the Elite Swine. We do appreciate it too. Again, a round of applause for Monsanto Elite Swine Programs Incorporated and Wheeler Auctions and Real Estate out of Paris. Next, we will have our reserve grand champion, Market Lamb. We are welcoming Troy Sloan back to the ring for his third time today, showing his Suffolk lamb weighing 130 pounds named Hayes. Troy is from Cameron, Missouri. He is, Hayes is out of the same buck as the grand champion lamb and was raised and bred in Missouri. This is Troy's last year to be eligible to show as a junior at the Missouri State Fair. I would say he's had a pretty good final year. Let's welcome Troy and his reserve grand champion market lamb to the ring. Our Troy, gosh, Troy didn't recognize you. Here we go. Hadn't seen you today. Here we go. Here we go. Down the air, champion, reserve, grand land, and tell me. Here we go. Down the 12 five. Here we go. Down the 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 five. 85, JW didn't get in, now 9. 85, and all of you are going to be on 9, here we go, now 5. 95, and all of you are going to be on 5, here we go, now 5, now 5, now 5, now 5, now 10. 10 grand, we're going to be on 10, here we go, concession here is at 10. 10, 5, you're out, Pat. 10, 5. 10, 5, we're going to be on 5, here we go, 10, 5, did you get it? 10, 5, thank you. Now 11. 10, 5, do you want to know that? 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, Sure. Sold on the right. 10,500, 10, 5. Who shall have them? Pioneer. Pioneer Hybrid. You bet you. Pioneer Hybrid. Our buyers are Pioneer Hybrids, represented by Corey Robinson and Rick Aspergren. Aspergren, yep. And the Missouri Sheep Producers Association, yeah. represented by Leon Bushdecker. Let's welcome them to the ring and ask Troy if he would like to say a few words again. Troy, wait, as Pioneer makes their way down the uh, they'd ask, you know, I said from time to time, they're, they're one of the new sponsors to, to, uh, uh, to the sale here. And, and uh, they asked that, you know, you basically you're, to, to discuss agronomics with your local Pioneer dealer, particularly Aquamax 
and Acre Max. They can tell you all about them, and as they make it in the ring, we just want to say thank you. They look to be on board in a bigger way next year, but we're appreciative. They're one of the new sponsors of, and new supporters this year, and we're very appreciative of Pioneer. Didn't mean to interrupt you, but go right ahead now. Well, uh, certainly, uh, I want to give a congratulate or a thank you out to uh, all the men that stand to the left of me that represent Pioneer here today, and um, definitely uh, want to thank everybody again for coming out and supporting the event. And anybody that's ever donated any money to this uh, this great event that's held here uh, this last Saturday of the fairs. I know I've said it before. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but. I promise you, anybody that sits around this ringside that's ever exhibited at the Missouri State Fair, uh, they, they have dedication and hard work, and it all, it's all because of this ring right here. It's all because they want to get on these green shavings, and something that I had always dreamed about. And obviously, I've been uh, fortunate enough to have a lot of success here in my last five years of showing. So once again, thanks to all those people, and a special thanks to all my family standing over there. Um, anybody who knows our operation, uh, obviously knows it takes all of us. Um, it's not just something I did all by myself all summer. That's uh, it's not possible. So it's kind of a team effort. I'm kind of the Dale Earnhardt and they're kind of my uh, pit crew. So big thank you goes out to them. And the last thing I want to say today is uh, obviously we've been very fortunate enough to uh, take a lot of money away from this uh, special event. And it's an event, like I said, I think there's a lot of uh, quality too and means a lot to a lot of people. So with that said, uh, we kind of got together earlier as a family and decided we were going to donate $5,000 back uh, in the form of five $1,000 scholarships to uh, kids in the future to go on to school. So thanks again to everybody. Thanks for coming out. It, uh, it's been one heck of a ride. Thanks. How did I get picked to do this? Uh, I would just like to, uh, on behalf of Pioneer and all the sales reps in the state of Missouri, uh, thank you to all the 4-H and FFA exhibitors, their parents, uh, FFA advisors, and 4-H and their youth leaders, because without you guys uh, showing your livestock, there wouldn't be a Missouri State Fair. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. There's a, a carnival and concerts, but uh, the, the livestock exhibitors and the youth is still how it all got started, and that's what keeps it going. So thank you guys. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. That's a nice gesture uh, from the slums. On behalf of the Missouri Sheep Producers, Troy, I want to congratulate you, uh, not just on your success this year, but in years past. Uh, if you've ever been in the sheep barn when all the lambs come in on Wednesday morning, uh, once the exhibitors get their lambs bedded in, the first place they usually go or have been going for years is to the Sloan pen to see what the competition is. Uh, we're going to miss that, but I've got a feeling there'll be some, uh, some young 4-H and FFA members that you're going to work with and mentor in the years to come, and, and we look forward to that. Congratulations. Now three, now three. Hope you're 
out. 22, 23. Vectors out. 3, 4. 24, then the ball Yes, 4, now 5. 28 of it. Lead every other orbit. Now 5, up in under 5, 5. Greater do 5, up in under 5. Now 6, now 7. 26, then the ball down. Now 8, then the ball down. 8, up in under 8, our 8. 28, then the ball down. 8, up in under 8. I've got Jay now getting lead 27. Vector sure lays out at 28. Jay, got to be 9. 29. Three, three, then on the bill. Three, now one. Three, three, one, 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 one. Here we go. Three, one, 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 one. Now one, now one. Thirty-three thousand fifty. Thirty-one. Now fifty. Thirty-one and a half. Your junior to back or mighty thin. Thirty-one and a half. You want to be a half? I have thirty-one fifty. Here we go. Thirty-one hundred and a half. I'm gonna go. I have said no. So thirty-one hundred dollar bill. Sold on the left. Thirty-one hundred. Thirty-one hundred dollars. Right. Little over a thousand already. Fire is the Missouri Rabbit Producers Association, represented by Roger Huslavi, and they have partnered with Gunther Salt Company. Let's welcome them to the sale ring. And Kelby, if you would like to say a few words. First of all, I would like to thank my buyers, my family, Missouri State Rabbit Producers, and all the people behind the scenes to make this happen. God bless you all. That's how you speak. Yes, sir. Well, Kelby, congratulations on behalf of all the Missouri State Rabbit Producers. We're really proud of you. Um, and we'd also like to thank all our members who support our fundraising so we're able to do this and, and support, uh, support the kids and the rabbits. And uh, Mike, I'll educate you about why it's so important why we weigh the rabbits. I, I won't get into that today, but there is a reason they're, they're weighed. And, uh, but congratulations again, Kelby, and this being your first year, you've got many more to come, let's hope, okay? Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Again, let's thank our buyers, Missouri Rabbit Producers and Gunther Salt Company. Next, we will have our reserve grand champion pen of chickens. They are exhibited by Andrew Littlefield. They are Cornish Cross, weighing on average 6.1 pounds. Andrew is the son of John and Sheila Littlefield of Diamond. Joint poultry has been a Littlefield family affair for the past seven years. In 2011, sorry, I had to look. <laughs> it was an honor for his family to be selected State Fair Farm Family of the Year from Newton County. Andrew's other 4-H projects include swine, rabbits, robotics, and public speaking. This summer has been very rewarding for Andrew, winning reserve grand champion broilers at the Newton County Fair, grand champion broiler pen at the Southwest District Ozark Empire Fair, and being selected for his reserve grand champions here today. Andrew hopes to someday be a state FFA officer like his big brother, John Paul, and have a career in agricultural engineering. Let's welcome Andrew and his reserve grand champion pen of chickens to the sale of champions. All right, Andrew, good job. All uh, right, uh, Brad Farmer, he was up here just a minute ago with Live Auctions TV, and he said, start those chickens at $500, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. i got Live Auctions TV at five, give me six. Five of them, now seven, 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 now seven, seven, now seven, now seven, now eight, eight of them, now eight, nine, 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 now ten, ten, now ten, now ten, now ten, now eleven, I got Pat in at eleven, eleven, twelve, 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 13, 13, up into 13, where? Up 13, 15, 14, I'll do it. 14, 14, 15, up into 15, he's out again. 14, up into 15, 15, up into 15, 15, I'm 14 and a half. 14, 15, up into 15, where? 14, 15, up into 15, 15, 75. I wouldn't think of that. 14, 75, 1500, 15, 15, 15, now half. 15, I'm 15, no sir. Boys, I'm not going to take quarters again. What? Just not. I got 1500 right there, no less than 50. I'll take 50. 15, 50. Yeah, we're going to 1500. I have 50. Yeah, I should have guessed, though, it was an independent Aggie. They're about running out of money, so they gave me a quarter. They want to use it all. They just didn't have much left to use. I got 15, 15 and a half. Yeah, we're going to have a minute and a half, half all in, all in. Here we go. Said no. Salty, $1,500 bill right there, 1500 Thank you. Thank you. Our, Steve. Bu our buyers are Rivas Incorporated, represented by Steve Hurst, and Somo Farm and Ranch, represented by Kelly Smith. I'd like to welcome them to the ring. And 
when they get there, we'll see if Andrew has a few words he would like to say. He said one of his projects was public speaking. Thank Rivas Incorporated and SOMO for buying my chickens. Um, I'd like to thank the Youth and Act Committee for putting on this sale and all the hard work they put into it. I'd like to thank my family, my parents, my brothers, and my sister for all the work they've done to help me um, with my 4 H projects. I'd like to thank everyone else that's helped us. Um, my 4 H specialist, Jeremy Ella Dingle. For he helped me gather hometown support. Um, the Madsen family for sharing some of their champion chicken secrets. And Hubbard Feed for our feed for the chickens. And last but not least, my hometown supporters. Thank you. Well, congratulations. I've seen a lot of sale of champions, and I've seen a lot of chickens, but never a chicken on a lead rope like that. And I don't know if you roped him or whether you engineered that one, but congratulations, and congratulations on all your hard work this year. And I know the folks at Rivas really do appreciate the youth and what they bring to, uh, to the state of Missouri and to agriculture around the world. So thank you and congratulations. I would certainly echo that, Andrew. Uh, I'm representing Kelly Smith from Somo Ranch, uh, Farm and Ranch, that uh, I think actually you fed their feed uh, here at the uh, throughout your uh, project here. So I would, I'm just saying thank you on behalf of uh, Somo Ranch, and uh, we really congratulate you for doing a great job. Thank you. Again, we thank Somo Farm and Ranch and Rivas Incorporated for purchasing the Reserve Grand Champion Pen of Chickens. Our final livestock entry today will be our Reserve Grand Champion Meat Goat. After that, please stick around and we'll be auctioning off the State Fair Commemorative Belt that Mike mentioned earlier. So our last livestock item is the Reserve Grand Champion Meat Goat exhibited by Paige Porter. It is a boar goat weighing 83 pounds named Moberly. Gage is the son of Gary and Lori Porter of Princeton. He is a member of the Princeton FFA chapter where he serves as vice president. He has received the FFA Leadership Award for the past three years and was awarded a 2012 Youth and Agriculture Award from the Brownfield Network and KAAN Radio. He is a member of the Princeton High School National Honor Society. His SAE in vocational agriculture is consist of 275 acres of soybeans and 20 cow-calf pairs. After graduation, he plans to continue showing and hopes to expand his farming operation. Gage's desire has always been to farm full-time, and this is a goal he has worked toward all through school. Let's welcome Gage Porter and his reserve grand champion, Miko, to the arena. All right, now we've got this again, and then we're going to sell the belt book, and all that money goes to the scholarship fund straight out. So here we go, your reserve champion, Miko, Gage Porter, appreciate you. You did a good job of showing it. Here we go. Here we go, now, me. What do you think of that? Here we go, now, me. Two grand. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Five hundred, six hundred, all day. I saw him seven, eight. Now, nine hundred, all day. I'm going to do it. Hit now, ten, now, twelve. I'm going to do it. Fifteen, seven, eight. I'm going to do it. Do now, two. Two grand. I'm going to do it. Now, four. We got Wayne Stowers at two twenty-five. Two grand. I'm going to do it. Now, five. I'm going to do it. Five, now, five. Twenty-nine. I'm going to do it. Five, five. Here we go. Do ten, twenty-five. Hey guys, Edward Jones, listen to me. Edward Jones is 25, he's seven and a half, Wayne. Seven and a half. Now three. Three grand Edward Jones. Here we're gonna three. Now thirty-five, we're gonna four, now four. Thirty-five, we're gonna four, four, here we four, now five. Four grand, two and a half. I'll do it. Now five. Forty-five minutes on the game, we're gonna five, five, here we're gonna five. Now seven, we're gonna four, eight, seven and a half. He did. 